Punctuation Marks There are 14 punctuation marks that are commonly used in English grammar. They are the period question mark exclamation point comma semicolon colon dash hyphen parentheses brackets braces apostrophe quotation marks and ellipsis sentence endings. Three of the 14 punctuation marks are appropriate for use as sentence endings. They are the period question mark and exclamation point sentence endings. The period is placed at the end of declarative sentences, statements thought to be complete, and after many abbreviations. The question mark is used to indicate a direct question when placed at the end of a sentence. The exclamation point is used when a person wants to express a sudden outcry or add emphasis. The comma is used to show a separation of ideas or elements within the structure of a sentence. Additionally, it is used in numbers, dates, and letter writing after the salutation and closing. The semicolon is used to connect independent clauses. It shows a closer relationship between the clauses than a period would show. A dash is used to separate words into statements. A hyphen is used to join two or more words together into a compound term and is not separated by spaces. Brackets are the squared of notations used for technical explanations or to clarify meaning. If you remove the information in the brackets, the sentence will still make sense. Braces are used to contain two or more lines of text or list items to show that they are considered as a unit. Parentheses are curved notations used to contain further thoughts or qualifying remarks. However, Parentheses can be replaced by commas without changing the meaning in most cases. N is used to indicate the omission of a letter or letters from apostrophe a word, the possessive, case, or the plurals of lowercase letters. Examples of the apostrophe in use include. Quotation marks are a pair of punctuation marks used primarily to mark the beginning and end of a passage attributed to another and repeated word for word. They are also used to indicate meanings and to indicate the unusual or dubious status of a word. The ellipsis is most commonly represented by three periods although it is occasionally demonstrated with three asterisks. The ellipsis is used in writing or printing to indicate an omission, especially of letters or words.